Hello, thanks for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we are looking at a continuation of filling out function tables. Uh, this lesson is dealing with function notation. So, in a previous lesson, we talked about in and out boxes, and we talked about using y equals uh, x plus a number as the rule. Uh, in this one, I want to go over function notation. So this is really similar to the y, if I can write this right, y equals x plus 8. But instead of having a y equal, you have f of x. And it doesn't change how it's computed at all. It's just a different notation. So let me show you what that looks like. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did in the previous. Uh, we're going to set up our rule here. And here I have f of x is equal to x plus 8. Now this f of x part is just like the y. Okay. Um, we're going to plug in these numbers, but we're not going to really compute them. We're going to plug in the x over here and do the computations with that. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to plug in the value of x, which is going to be the 7, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Okay, so I plug in 7, 4, 6, 8, and 0. And I plug it in over here as well. But the, the adding is just going to come on the right side. And when I'm done, I can say, oh, f of 7 is equal to the answer. f of 4 is equal to the answer. So let me get a couple of those answers here. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before, pull up the calculator, and type in 7 plus 8. And I put it in parentheses here so you can see it. 7 plus 8. I get 15. So what does that mean? Instead of just saying, okay, I got my table, x is 7, y is 15. If you saw this without the table, you would say f of 7 is equal to 15. f of 4 is equal to, let's find out what that is. So I'm going to take this 4 plus 8 and plug that into the calculator and I got 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 so I write my answer over here is 12 like I said it's just like we did on the previous one with y equals something but here we just got a different notation so I'm gonna plug in this f of uh, plug in 4 so f of 4 is equal to 12 so you just keep on going on you type in 6 8 and 0 into the calculator here and then you get the answers, 14, 16, and 8. So it's not anything different, just a different notation, so that when you work out a problem, you can say, oh, I plugged in this number. So let's take a look at another one. Okay, so this one has a negative 7x plus 6. But it's the same thing. We're going to plug in these x values. It's going to be our n and see what we get out, which is our y value. But instead of saying y, it's, you know, they should have put f of x here. But it's going to be f of x. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay? So we've got our rule over here. We'll do 7 times whatever x is and add 6. And over here, we're going to plug in uh, the value of x here. So we're going to put that in right now. And that's giving us 0, 2, 6, 9, and 1 in, in that x spot. But all the, the operations is going to come on the right side over here. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at the first one. So I'm going to take this right side and type it right into the calculator. Negative 7 times 0 plus 6. And when I hit enter, I get 6. So f of 0 is equal to 6. All right, let's do another one. Okay, now we're going to plug in a 2, and then I'm going to do negative 7 times 2 plus 6. So negative 7 times 2 plus 6 is negative 8, so f of 2 is negative 8. So you just keep on going on. You type all of those into the calculator and get your answer. Uh-oh, left that slide out. So, um... But you're going to get your answers right here. Let me see if I can get those answers in for you. Just one moment. 
Okay, so now I have all the answers in here. So when you plug in f of 6, you get negative 36. And plug in f of 9, you get negative 57. And plug in 1, you get f of 1, you get negative 1. So that's it. And that is uh, linear functions, completing the table with f of x notation. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.